With Smart Canvas, we're bringing together the content and connections that transform collaboration into a richer, better experience. And this fall, we're excited to bring Meet directly into Docs, Sheets, and Slides for the first time. We've also made it easier to customize views and share content so teams can focus on what matters most in the moment. And machine learning in Google Meet to automatically adjust camera zoom and lighting, ensuring that everyone can be seen across all environments. And his colleagues across the globe can follow along with live captions, even translations, into their native languages. Today, I'm excited to share our latest breakthrough in natural language understanding, Lambda. For example, say you wanted to learn about one of my favorite pl planets, Pluto. <clears throat> um, Pluto's a planet. Tell me what I would see if I visited. You would get to see a massive canyon some frozen icebergs, geysers, and some craters. Quantum computing represents a fundamental shift because it harnesses the properties of quantum mechanics. That's a cool lamp. Uh, it's not a lamp. This is actually a cryostat, and you're looking at the inside of a quantum computer, which means that parts of our lab are some of the coldest places in the universe. Wow, colder than Canada? Uh, yeah, colder than Canada. Colder than Canada. And they're like this Bob Ross blanket of love. Right? And then you keep them there until they can tell us how to think like the Earth. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty close. To keep our users safe, everything we build is secure by default. Our password manager creates, remembers, saves, and autofills passwords for you. First, we're making it easier than ever to get started with a simple tool that imports passwords saved in other password managers. Next, we'll have deeper integration across both Chrome and Android. Automatic password alerts will let you know if we detect any of your saved passwords have become compromised in a third-party breach. And lastly, what I'm especially excited about, a quick fix feature in Chrome, where the assistant will help you navigate directly to your compromised accounts. To make billions of Android phones private by design, we developed Android's private compute core. It powers features like live caption without sharing audio data with Google or any other apps. Today, we're announcing a few new controls that you'll see in our most popular apps. Just tap your profile picture to access your menu and immediately delete recent search history from your account. And lastly, we're rolling out locked folder in Photos. Photos you add to this passcode protected space are saved separately, so they won't show up as you scroll through Google Photos or any other apps on your device. As Sundar mentioned, Early research with Lambda and multimodality is pushing the boundaries of natural language understanding. And today, I'm excited to share how we'll be bringing some of these research advances to Google Search with a multitask unified model, or MUM as we like to call it. It's multimodal, which means it can simultaneously understand different forms of information like text, images, and videos. You might ask, I've hiked Mount Adams, and now I want to hike Mount Fuji next fall. What should I do differently to prepare? So now imagine taking a photo of your hiking boots and asking, can I use these to hike Mount Fuji? Mom would be able to understand the content of the image and the intent behind your query. So now, thanks to our lens team in Zurich, we're rolling out a new capability that combines visual translation with educational content from the web to help people learn in more than 100 languages. For instance, you can easily snap a photo of a science problem and Lens will provide learning resources in your preferred language. Now, we're bringing some of the world's best athletes to AR. She goes for the triple-double. This is very accurate. I see all the details that I need to get back in the gym and work on. <laughs> Getting access to reliable information is particularly critical during times like the pandemic or breaking news. One of the ways we're doing this is with About This Result, a feature we launched earlier this year that makes it easier to check the source. Just tap the three dots next to the search result to see the details about the website, including its description, when it was first indexed, and whether your connection to the site is secure. This year alone, we're on track to release more than 100 AI-driven improvements to give people richer and more contextual information about the world around them. 
take this image of Columbus Circle, one of the most complicated intersections in Manhattan. You can now see where the sidewalks, the crosswalks, the pedestrian islands are. Something that might be incredibly helpful if you're taking young children out on a walk or absolutely essential if you're using a wheelchair. If it's 8 a.m. on a weekday, we'll display the coffee shops and bakeries more prominently in the map. While at 5 p.m., we'll highlight the dinner restaurants that match your tastes. With area busyness, you'll be able to understand at a glance if it's the right time for you to go, based on how busy that part of the city is in real time. More than a billion times a day, people are shopping across Google. We're now introducing the Shopping Graph, our most comprehensive data set for billions of products and the merchants that sell them. For example, I was eating outside at a restaurant recently and really liked their patio furniture. So I opened my Google app, and right from the search bar, I could use Lens to find the exact set I was looking for. Earlier this year, we shared that we're building a new experience to make it easier to shop products you learn about from your favorite YouTube creators. That experience is in Pilot now, so stay tuned for updates. Soon on Chrome, when you open a new tab, you'll be able to see your open carts from the past couple of weeks. We'll also find you promotions and discounts for your open carts if you choose to opt in. It's great to be back on campus talking with you all about Google Photos. Little patterns show the magic in everyday moments. This feature uses machine learning to translate photos into a series of numbers and then compares how visually or conceptually similar these images are. These photos on their own wouldn't necessarily be meaningful, but when they're pieced together, they tell a story that's uniquely yours. Cinematic Moments will take these near duplicate images and use neural networks to synthesize the movement between image A and image B. We interpolate the photos and fill in the gaps by creating new frames. The end result is a vivid, moving picture. And the cool thing about this effect is it can work on any pair of images, whether they were captured on Android, iOS, or scanned from a photo album. We heard from you that controls can be helpful for anyone who has been through a tough life event, breakup, or loss. Specifically, we heard from the transgender community that resurfacing certain photos can be painful. So we are working directly with our partners at GLAAD and listening to feedback to understand how we can make reminiscing more inclusive. These insights inspired us to give you the control to hide photos of certain people or time periods from our memories feature. Instead of form following function, what if form followed feeling? Instead of Google Blue, we imagined Material U, a new design that includes you as a co-creator, letting you transform the look and feel of all your apps by generating personal material palettes that mix color science with a designer's eye and engineering UI elements to respond in real time we can delight every style. A new design that can flex to every screen and fit every device. Your apps adapt comfortably every place you go. Beyond light and dark, a mode for every mood. These selections can travel with your account across every app and every device. Material U comes first to Google Pixel this fall including all of your favorite Google apps. And over the following year, we will continue our vision, bringing it to the web, Chrome OS, wearables, smart displays, and all of Google's products. I wanted to share some exciting news with you. Just this week, we crossed an amazing milestone. There are now three billion active Android devices around the world. But there's so much more to do and Android 12 is one of our most ambitious releases ever. We've overhauled everything from the lock screen to system settings, revamping the way we use color, shapes, light, and motion, inspired by Material U. Watch what happens when the wallpaper changes. Like if I use this picture of my kids actually getting along for once. I set it as my background and voila! The system creates a custom palette based on the colors in my photo. The result is a one-of-a-kind design, just for you. And you'll see it first on Google Pixel in the fall. Pretty amazing work on performance in Android 12 to make all the motion and animation in the UI super smooth. 
Android's private compute core enables things like now playing, which tells you what song is playing in the background, and smart reply, which suggests responses to your chats based on your personal reply patterns. This next chapter of Android is focused on delightful and helpful experiences across all the devices that are connected to your phone. With a single tap, you can unlock and sign into your Chromebook when your phone is nearby. Incoming chat notifications from apps on your phone are right there in Chrome OS. And soon, if you want to share a picture, one click and you can access your phone's most recent photos. To keep movie night on track, we're building TV remote features directly into your phone. You can use voice search or even type with your phone's keyboard. We're also really excited to introduce support for digital car key. Car key will allow you to lock, unlock, and start your car, all from your phone. It works with NFC and ultra wideband technology, making it super secure and easy to use. You can check out many of these features in the Android 12 beta today. Try it out on phones from 11 device makers, including Google Pixel, OnePlus, and Xiaomi. Today, I'm excited to tell you about the biggest update to Wear OS ever. And now we're combining the best of our two operating systems, Wear OS and Tizen, into a unified platform focused on faster performance, longer battery life, and a thriving developer community. This combined platform isn't just for Google and Samsung. It will continue to be available for all device makers, which means developers can build apps with a single set of APIs and reach millions of consumers all over the world through the Google Play Store. Let's say I'm running with Strava and I'm about to hit that long, grueling hill. I just double press to switch to my last app, Spotify, put on my most motivating song, and then switch right back without missing a beat. It's such a simple thing for a more helpful and fluid experience. Now I can go from checking my next meeting to the weather forecast to this new tile from Calm, which helps me relax before a stressful event like presenting at Google I.O. And now that we're part of Google, we're working to bring the best of Fitbit to Wear. In the future, we'll be building premium smartwatches based on Wear that combine the best of Fitbit's health expertise with Google's ambient computing capabilities. As part of our ongoing commitment to product inclusion, we're working to make technology more accessible and equitable. For people of color, photography has not always seen us as we want to be seen. To make smartphone photography truly for everyone, we've been working with a group of industry experts to build a more accurate and inclusive camera. So far, we've partnered with a range of different expert image makers who've taken thousands of images to diversify our image data sets, helped improve the accuracy of our auto white balance and auto exposure algorithms, and given aesthetic feedback to make our images of people of color more beautiful and more accurate. Our engineering team is learning a tremendous amount working with these experts, and we're making changes to our computational photography algorithms to address long-standing problems. We were all grateful to have video conferencing over the last year. It helped us stay in touch with family and friends and kept businesses and schools going. So several years ago, we kicked off a project to use technology to explore what's possible. We call it Project Starline. We thought it'd be fun to give you a look at people experiencing it for the first time. <laughs> so you look beautiful. I could feel her and see her, and it was this like 3D experience. Hey, Philippe. I just saw my sister as if she was right in front of me. I really, really felt like she and I were in the same room. It was like she was here. Some key advances have made this experience possible. First, using high resolution cameras and custom built depth sensors, we capture your shape and appearance from multiple perspectives, and then fuse them together to create an extremely detailed, real-time 3D model. The second area of research I want to discuss 
is our work in driving forward sustainability. By 2030, we aim to operate on carbon-free energy 24-7. It automatically shifts the timing of many compute tasks to when clean power sources are most plentiful. And today I'm excited to announce we are the first company to implement carbon intelligent load shifting across both time and place within our data center network. We are building our new campus to the highest sustainability standards. When completed, these buildings will feature a first of its kind, drag and scale solar skin, equipped with 90,000 silver solar panels and the capacity to generate nearly seven megawatts. Thank you for joining us today. Please enjoy the rest of Google I.O. I hope to see you in person next year. Until then, stay safe and be well.